Hello everybody. Don's fan came that goes on top of the wood stove, but I don't think he's too pleased about it. No. I was expecting it to be bigger. Yeah, that can't do anything with the... Open it. Oh yeah, slow down. That can't heat the house. That thing is teeny weeny itty bitty. It fit in the mailbox, it's so tiny. Barely. What, they stuffed it in there? We barely stuck in there, and it looked like they barely had it in there, and it flopped out onto the fucking lid of the uh, mailbox. So that must be that one guy who likes to, who doesn't like to come up to your door and likes to stuff everything he, into the mailbox as tight as he can. Oh well, yeah, even the side of the mailbox was bowed out because he had it stuffed in there. Yeah. You know, that, the end of it. That one guy who drives a, I don't know what it is, but it's kind of like a blazer and it's tan and he has a, a fake horn in it that sounds like a little kid going eee! And that guy. Color fenders and stuff. Yeah. That guy's too lazy to bring your, your packages to, to your porch. Yeah, that's what I'd call false advertising. Yeah, because what they showed was bigger. Yeah, because that was supposed to blow all the heat all the way to the back of the house. That's not going to happen. No. $45? But it, yeah. But it's supposed to sit on the wood stove and the heat from the wood stove is supposed to power it. But we didn't know it was an itty bitty miniature thing. No. Well, what they showed it was bigger. Well, that's what you get for, for clicking on, on ads that you see on your Facebook. See what happens, I guess. Yeah. You're going to have to warm up because it's cold. Yeah, I'm sure it won't turn on right away, but no. that sure won't get the heat all the way to the back of the house. No. So that kind of sucks. Well, that was a waste of money. Even if it does work. I'll be very shocked if it gets any heat all the way to the back to the bedroom. Yeah, it's probably going to take some time for it to warm up and take the heat and convert it over into electric. Yeah. Oh, well. It's really really cold yeah cool. and really really tiny yeah there that gives you a better idea of how teeny weeny it is oh well yeah that won't do anything Starting. yeah I mean sure it works cool but it's too tiny Yeah, I don't feel anything. Where do I? Oh well. You can't return it or do anything about it, so. Oh well. So Don is happier with this now that he read the directions and figured out what's going on. It does kind of blow heat. He's just still disappointed that it's so tiny because the the video attached to the ad for it made it look like it was more like this tall so it was kind of misleading but oh well now he's at his brother Dan's getting a piece of metal that he can put on top of the wood stove to set that fan on so it's a flat surface and not a round surface he's been there for hours but that's how it always goes him and his twin brother get together and talk and talk and talk and talk but that's how men are, right? Right, Spotted Leaf? Yeah. You're so cute. Such a good girl. And White Storm. And Kylo. 
good bunch of kitties. Smokey and Tug. Good dog. Good dog. I'm just having this little healthy choice or lean cuisine. I can't remember which one it was. Cauliflower crust pizza for dinner along with water. And when Don finally gets back, I took pork out for him to cook for himself because he bought a whole bunch of pork when we were not eating healthy. And somebody has to eat it, but it's not going to be me. So now I'm making Don's meat for him so he doesn't have to make it. But he can make whatever sides he wants with it. And I'm not eating any of that. And he's finally back. Yep, finally back. Hours later. Yeah. Got lost. In what, in your brother's garage? Yeah. Okay. Out, out, out in the shop. <laughs> yeah. We was checking out all the new equipment that he got. Yeah, and this is his piece of metal that the fan will sit on. Is that what was getting cut on that plasma cutter? No. Oh. Is this a scrap piece? Uh, he's uh, starting to cut notes, but the website is still in the making and stuff. So. Oh. Well, I'll put that little clip right here of what we're talking about. All right, explain to them what that thing is they were just looking at. Um, that's a new tool that Dan just got in not too long ago. It's called a water table. It's a plasma cutter water table setup. And you can operate it through a computer, through a programming and stuff. And that's what he's going to be using to help cut out supplies for a new business that's getting started right now and for a previous business that they're going. Yeah. So. And there is water in there and that's why it sounded all gurgly. Yeah, and there's water in the table, that's why it's called a water table. Yeah, gurgly what, table. Yeah, <laughs> what it does is that it throws like any of this person's stuff down into the water and it, it's just a different setup. So, yeah. But like I said, it's computer operated and stuff and he's still working on the patterns and stuff, you know, getting on the programming for it, trying to get it tuned into uh, like where it's supposed to cut at and stuff like that. Okay. So. Well, thank you for the explanation because if I think I just showed that, a lot of people would be like, well, what in the world is that thing? Yeah. Well, uh, people <laughs> can go to the web, web page now, you know. Well, what's the name of it? Uh, Uncle Fred's Big Old Knives or something like that? Um, I would have to go and look, but. <laughs> I don't remember the exact name, but well, it's uh, for people that wanted to make their own knife and they wanted yeah, to do it. Knife kits. Yeah, it's a knife kit. Yeah. So, and what it is, it's uh, taking leftover pieces from one business and you trying to use it up for another. So. Yeah. No, the, trying to prevent waste. Yeah, just trying to prevent waste. Yeah. So, and it's a good idea for people that want to. Uh, your own knives out, you know, to their own design and stuff, so it'd be a great idea. Yep. Or if people have like elk horns or any type of horns, they could incorporate that into a handle somehow too if they ever wanted to. Antlers? Yeah. Yeah. Some people do that. There's yeah. You know, people that go out, you know, out, uh, out looking for deer sheds and elk sheds, you know, where they cut off their antlers. Yep. So, I guess a lot to do that. Not hurting the animal. No, because it already fell off the animal. Yeah, it already fell off the animal. <laughs> you can go out and do a uh, deer shed or elk shed or whatever. Yeah. It's not illegal to do it. No. Okay. So tomorrow we are going to Gaylord to do some shopping. And that will that will be a full day. But in the meantime, we're just going to relax for tonight. Don is watching more Walking Dead as always. But we're going to say goodnight and we hope you enjoyed the video and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. Say goodnight. Say good morning. And we'll see you tomorrow.